What's going on, everyone? It's time to do another family comedy. Today we're going to be doing uh, John Goodman's uh, first starring role. The film he did way back in the night, early 90s. Today we're going to be talking about the film King Ralph. It was released by Universal February 15th, 1991. Like I said, it starred John Goodman. It also starred Peter O'Toole. And it was produced by Jack Brodsky. And direct, written and directed by David S. Ward, who has actually done... Um, quite a few other films like Major League, Major League 2, and Major League Back to the Miners. Uh, he's also done film, other ones like Dawn, uh, Down, Periscope, Canary Row, and The Program. He's had a box office, box office earnings of $52.4 million, so it was a modest success uh, back in the day. I don't think there's any sequels or anything for it, but um, yeah, so King Ralph. Uh, so, uh, in Britain, the royal family gets together to take a huge picture, and by some fluke, they all get electrocuted and are dead. So, uh, the next inherit, they have to find the next inherit, inherity, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> uh, to the next person to take the spot of the queen, and it turns out it's Ralph, who is a strip club, my own Vegas lounge singer, <laughs> and, uh, Vegas, and uh, he gets uh, called to go to Britain and uh, take over. And um, he gets there, and uh, obviously he's not cut out. He's not familiar with any of it, and it just gets quirky and quirkier as it goes on while he's there. And it's up to him to uh, keep the morale up and keep the <laughs> British royal family going, basically. It's uh, quite the interesting movie. Um, yeah, the characters and stuff in there are so good. You obviously have like a love interest and stuff, but she also has like a darker somewhat side to her, trying to like overthrow him and get him out of there. But then she kind of falls for him at the same time and uh, yeah, eventually helps him out near the end. Which is sort of standard for comedies. It kind of runs your typical comedy plot points. But um, yeah, when he gets to Britain and stuff. And him just learning all the quirky things. It's kind of like somewhat of what like, an American would do. When he goes to when they go to Britain and stuff like that. It's pretty funny and amusing. Especially since I travel quite a bit. I could kind of relate and see. I've seen people act like. The way he acts in this, so it's kind of funny, and I love how they captured that, and like how uh, they incorporated like the singing aspect of the first part of the film into like the third half of the film is uh, definitely quite the amusing bit. And there's a lot of good jokes. Some of them don't really land, but some of them are really amusing too. And uh, yeah, it was quite an interesting little film. Um, Definitely something you probably wouldn't see made very often these days. Um, it does sort of like it. For films like this, they kind of there's similarities with them, sort of like Mr. Deeds and things like that. But uh, yeah, you don't really see those type of comedies anymore though. So uh, and John did, Goodman did a great job. The filming, the cinematography, and all the effects and stuff were really well done. And uh, yeah, it was just an enjoyable little comedy to watch. And uh, I actually quite enjoyed it. I don't really have very many complaints. Some of the side characters are a little weird. And uh, there's some pointless stuff that happens to do with the story. But it happens in most comedies. But overall, it's still an enjoyable experience and a fun watch. So if you do get a chance and you see it somewhere, check it out. It's fun. I'm going to give King Ralph a 4 out of 5. It's definitely one of the better comedies I've been talking about. And it was good refreshing to see this because the last few movie review I watched before this were terrible so it was definitely good and refreshing to check this one out. If this sounds like a film you might be interested in there's a trailer link down below. Also link down below is my Instagram it's where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. All my stories have the film title hashtag and the subject on film and the hashtag so you're aware of it. Also my letterbox is down below at Derek P Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the film so follow me on one of those two platforms to stay in the loop. Like this video, share so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And if you have any films or film franchises that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'm trying to get to them as soon as I can and if, and if I can find them. Um, yeah, so, um, but make sure you subscribe because uh, hopefully we find something weird, obscure, and odd, somewhat like this.
together you probably never thought of checking out or so you hear my opinions on popular films and classic films and reviews on other things as well and uh don't forget to ring that bell because we're going to be continuing on with another family comedy starring john goodman and that is the oddball uh film matinee will be the next review so make sure you tune in for that ring that bell and uh yeah but watch out for all those quirky americans trying to be part of the royal family and i guess i'll see you all in the next one hopefully it's as good as this one but we'll see how that goes so till the next one cheers